You're much too young. What? I thought you were on the pill. What about my football scholarship? Every day, hundreds of women feel helpless and afraid because they are faced with an unplanned pregnancy. There aren't many safe, confidential places for these women to go for a listening ear. There aren't many voices encouraging women to choose life. Abortion is thought of as a political issue, but it is first and foremost a spiritual issue. God commissions us to speak for those who cannot speak for themselves and to come alongside those who need to hear the truth. Women in need are calling for help. They are your friends and co-workers, nieces and daughters. They are sitting in your pews. One way to answer the call is by becoming a client advocate, coming to a woman's aid during an unplanned pregnancy. As a client advocate, you would provide the gift of hope to women, showing them that they have other options. This allows the woman to make an informed decision about her future and the future of her baby. I would say, come to our training and see what we're about and see if we would be a good fit for you. You know for sure that God wants you to do something in your community. For four hours a week, I can come and help somebody in need. I can help somebody in my community and I can share the Lord and learn how to lead somebody to the Lord. And we'll teach you how to do that. And you will love it so much and you may find that doing this for four hours a week will impact every area of your life and you would love doing it. So I would just say come to the training and just see. Medical personnel are always needed. They perform ultrasounds so that a woman has a full understanding of what's happening inside her body showing her that there is another life at stake besides her own. There are many more ways you and your church can get involved, from administrative help to parenting mentors, from clothing sorters to community educators. CareNet, with your involvement, can empower and equip a woman to choose life by focusing on meeting both the spiritual needs and physical concerns of the woman. CareNet does all of this in a confidential, non-judgmental setting. So how will you answer this call on the Sanctity of Human Life Sunday? Perhaps healing from your own abortion experience is where the Lord is leading you to begin. Whatever you prayerfully decide, know that together we can restore life sanctity in our communities for the glory of God. Will you answer the call? Will you, like Isaiah, say, Here am I, send me? I'm Judy Hanhai, you've already been introduced, and I am the director of the CareNet in Lakewood, and I'm also director of our parenting program for Puget Sound, which is six centers in King and Pierce counties. I just wanted to tell you a true story. The names have been changed to protect everyone. Marianne came in about three years ago, 16, a scared little girl, and she thought she was pregnant. And she didn't know what she was going to do, but she was pretty sure she was going to have an abortion because she didn't want her mom to find out. So she came in and she talked with us and we were able to, you know, go through her options and she got to have her ultrasound and she saw that little baby and its heart beating and she decided, well, maybe abortion wasn't going to be the best choice. So she decided to carry her baby to term. And in the meantime, she took parenting classes with us. She came every week and she earned what we called baby bucks. And she was able to spend those baby bucks in our boutique. In our boutique, you can buy diapers and car seats and cribs and baby clothes and maternity clothes. I think it says something about that on the back of your bulletin, actually. 
And we were just able to love on her in the entire time. Well, Mary Ann had a beautiful little girl, Katie, and we didn't see her for a while. We'd shared the gospel with her and, and talked a lot, actually. We put a lot of time into Mary Ann. She called the other day, and she said, I have a strange request. It's like, what's that? She goes, well, I'm just starting to pray, and I was wondering, could, could I come in and could someone just pray with me? I'm like, yeah, honey, we can do that. Not a problem. We'd be happy to do that. So she came in, and um, we arranged it because she's, she's a working single mom now. And, and she came in, and she was wearing a silver cross. And I was like, well, that's interesting. She goes, I just want to know how to know God. You know, I've, I, I've been wearing this cross, and I'm feeling better, but there's just something that's missing. And I said, oh, Marianne, let me tell you. So I was able to s sit down with her, share the Lord with her. She accepted the Lord. And she said, I would, wasn't brought up Christian, but this is what I want for Katie. I want Katie to grow up Christian. So that was just, that was just so sweet. And it's so, you know, it's a long-term investment we're making in these women for life and eternal life. And I just thank you so much for being a part of it.